Hi, I'm Victoria Craig, host of the global edition of Marketplace Morning Report from the BBC World Service. Cast One started in 2017 as a co-production between the BBC World Service and American Public Media's Marketplace. And the goal is to bring the very best of the BBC, the stories that our correspondents around the world are covering, and explain it to you, our American audience getting up extremely early, <laughs> oftentimes before dawn, hopping on my bike and cycling to work. And that's where I meet producer Stephen Ryan, and the two of us spend the mornings figuring out what's been happening in America while we slept, and what's been happening in Asia while you slept. We talk to our, the correspondents that we have around the world with the BBC, and we decide what makes it into our program. So I grew up in Kansas City, Missouri, right smack dab in the middle of the US. And then I moved to Columbia, Missouri for college, uh, where I spent four years as a Mizzou Tiger and am always cheering from the sidelines, <laughs> even here in London. We find ways to make sure to watch our Tigers play. After college, I moved straight to New York City and I spent five years there covering the stock market and the economy before the opportunity popped up to move to London and I just couldn't say no to that. So now I get to be an American in London telling Americans about what's been happening around the world while they slept. What makes this partnership unique is that it joins newsrooms, not just coast to coast, but country to country. So Cast One takes the very best of the BBC and brings it to an American audience. We like to refer to the program as a gourmet meal on a teaspoon. You might think time zones present an insurmountable hurdle working across newsrooms from country to country, but actually it works to our advantage a lot of time. We were COVID working before pandemic working became a thing, so we really leverage technology to be able to communicate with our teams in New York and LA. Our goal with this program is to raise the economic intelligence of our listeners, and there are so many ways that we do that day to day. But I think the best example of how we do that is with the biggest story of our lifetime, the pandemic, and it's affected people all across the world in so many different ways. While we cover all of the damage that this pandemic has caused, we can also cover how all of these economies are rising from the ashes in a post-pandemic world. We travel to India to watch the world's largest democracy go to the polls to elect their next leader. We of course had Brexit here in the UK, which had lots of economic implications, not just for this country, but Europe, and we're still getting headlines coming out of that story. And of course we had the US election, which also had global implications for trade and politics. There are a lot of things to love about the BBC, including this state-of-the-art newsroom that we get to work in every single day. But my favorite part is Old Broadcasting House, which is the original part of this building. And the coolest thing is getting to walk in the same footsteps that some of the BBC radio greats have also walked in. What I love most about London is that it's truly a global city and there are so many cultures and a rich diversity that you can enjoy every single day. I think one of the coolest things is that you can hop a train and be almost anywhere. So you can get in a train and head to Paris and be there in about two hours or you could get in a different train and head to Yorkshire where you can be in the English countryside where I love to go and get a little bit of fresh country air. I kick off the American morning at 5.51 each weekday with the business news you can use.